Worcester lacrosse team fighting for spots in that postseason. Of course, they need wins. They need to build up wins. Constantly improving program. The Warriors taking on another good club tonight. The Marlboro Panthers. Marlboro, nine wins coming in. One more gets them in to postseason play. At Commerce Bank Field is the scene. Second quarter. Warriors Andrew Williamson to P.J. Sherry. Sherry rips that shot. 3-1 Worcester. The Warriors looking for more. But the Marlboro goalie robbing Williamson in close. Nice save there. And then another save in tight for the Panthers goalkeeper. Marlboro would respond on the attack. Ryan Meckler coming. Iso top shelf. Just ripping it. 3-2 the score then. That's Meckler feeding Jason Plunt. And Plant scores in close. 3-3 three, three the score now. Panthers on a roll. Devin Ron on the ISO. Good run. 5-3 Marlboro. Worcesters. Richie Burke feeding Sherry who scores. Made it 5-4. Sherry's jacked and pumped. That was the score at the half. Marlboro gets the win. 12-7 is your final. Summit meeting in baseball. St. Johnson SPM 1 versus 2 in Central Mass. Top first, Matt Stansky, the starter for the Pioneers. Barehanded grab off the mound. Nice play by the pitcher. Stansky then comes back to get the strikeout with the bases loaded. Pioneers would get out of it. Bottom first, St. John's loads the bases. Pitch gets away. Jake Rosen coming on and scoring 1-0 St. John's. Then it's Jack Gardner, who all he does is hit on channel three. Base hit. Seymour scores. 2-0 Pioneers. Gardner's batting average on Channel 3 is like 1,000. Bottom of the first, Pat Gallagher with a big strikeout to end matters. Top second, St. Peter Marion's Mason Matero with a base hit. Josh Del Signore coming on to score. It's 2-1. Guardians trying to run, and they try to run on Gardner, and Gardner with the rifle to Rosen to get the runner. St. John's fired up about their defense. Top third. Jonathan Gonzalez, John Gahn, launching the home run, three run shot, 4-2 SPM at that point. St. John's comes back. They'll still be number one in Central Mass, 7-5 the final. Well, as we reported to you last week, the Worcester Bravehearts were looking to fill a vacancy after their manager, Justin Edwards, left to pursue another opportunity in baseball. Well, this weekend, the Bravehearts doing just that, signing Clark baseball head coach J.P. Pine as their new field manager. Pine brings a wealth of experience at all levels of the game, and he tells us he's excited for the summer. But watching the league grow and what Worcester's been able to do since they came into the league, uh, I've been really impressed. And uh, throughout the process and getting to know uh, Dave Peterson and the people in the organization, the Creedon family, uh, uh, made me really interested in the opportunity, and, and I'm excited we were able to make it work out, and uh, I look forward to the season. All right, so J.P. Pine, you see him there coaching these Clark Cougars. 18 wins in his first year at Clark. That is a program best. Looking forward to the summer, and the Bravehearts coming back. Softball from the weekend. Big games for WPI. This is a winner-take-all on the rooftop field against MIT, and Alexander Marshall, one of the best in the land with a strikeout for MIT in the second. Top third, Jasmine Joseph drops in. Heads up play, Caroline Wood. In time to apply the tag. Woody with the tag, they get the out. Casey Arpin, and in the circle and the local, the NDA grad getting the strikeout. Doing more work. Arpin, looking sharp. Bottom seven, Alexandra Marshall, another strikeout. Regulation not enough, we go to extra innings. And in the eighth, Jacqueline Detroit with a base hit for the Engineers. Two outs, runner at third, Ama Biney. You know she can fly. Biney, if she beats it, they win. She does. WPI wins. They're going to the NCAA's new MAC. Champs won nothing the final. Worcester State, Bridgewater State in the MASCAC Softball Championship. Worcester State won the first game and Forced this winner take all, and Megan Rich just awesome with a strikeout there. Lancers led 3-1 when Courtney Salisbury, bottom of the third, goes wall ball right field. Haley Scola, the SPM grad, scoring. It's 4-1 Lancers. Haley Terry then continues the rally. Good piece of hitting to right. 
Rachel Couto scoring. Salisbury scoring. Six to one, Worcester State. Bears threaten in the fourth, but look at Terry pull the double playoff. Six three on her own from short to end the threat. And then the bats would do the rest. 7-1 in the fourth, Salisbury, our line drive. Salisbury's line drive drops in, Sarah Pelletier scoring. Corey DeRozier scores the local, it's 9-1. Taylor Daniels, she'd seal it with a bomb to center. That home run closed the scoring. Worcester State put up 14 runs. They were up 14-1, they get the win, and it is their first Mass Keck tournament championship since 2011. They are going to the NCAAs. So WPI will play at Tufts University. That's where they play. They get Salve Regina. Worcester State plays Moravian. They have to travel, the Lancers do, to Ithaca, New York. I'll tell you what, all the time and energy you put in as a college athlete yeah. to make it to the NCAAs, that's an unbelievable feeling right there. I wouldn't know anything about it, but that's an unbelievable feeling. For three teams from Central Mass that's because awesome. Becker softball's in as well. They play Tufts at Tufts. So we have three teams from Central so Mass. So hard to do, things. too. That's good things. Yeah. All right, thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. All right, for Andy Lacombe, I'm Tim McComb. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.